Howdy lovelies, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our crafting where we learn, grow and craft together. In today's session I want to show you layered embellished clusters. It is a kit from Digi and SVG Designs for You. Now as you know by now I am not affiliated with them and it's not a paid promotion. I am merely a very satisfied customer. Their products are amazing. I love all of them. I will still <laughs> purchase more of those. They are absolutely divine designs. So with further ado, let's get started. This time around, I did not print the kit twice, once for myself and once to show you. I went ahead and I printed all of this on a hundred and no, just a hundred grams GSM cardstock. And I went ahead and cut out the different pieces. Now, don't be misled. It doesn't look like a lot. But I've sorted this a little bit and I'll just move this a tiny bit over. I've got the bases there. There's a few scrollies there. There are a ton of little things that can be added in whichever way you want it to be. Now I'm going to move this off to one side just so that I have them there and I will be keeping my vintage photo close by because I use that a lot to ink the edges. I'm just moving some ink pads out of the way which I should have done before the time. Just hang in there with me. So I don't want this completely out of the way. I want you to still see some of it. I've got my ink here. You can see the shadow of my thumb and I've got the goodies this side. I'll maybe get this to overlap a bit. That way we can have some of it inside. Now these are the bases. I had sadly printed a page. My printer did not take the cardstock, nothing to do with the product, but it cut it off on the side. Here you can see it should be scalloped on this edge as the same as this. So we cut it off there. I did not however want to throw it away. There are a few, oh, it should look more or less like this one. So it's just that little bit that was cut off. Didn't want to waste it. There's another one, a circle that was like that. And then there's one like this that was also um, stuck on the side, but it's fine. There it is. So I just reprinted that page. I'm not going to throw this away. If I add, I'm just going to add something here. Nobody will be none the wiser that that was a bubble from my printer side. And you can just trim it off and use it whichever way. Now you can add whatever you want to, to these pieces. They've got some bonus pieces in the kit. They have some beautiful butterflies, which you can see here. And all these wonderful goodies that you can add. Now, I've made a few already, just to show you, give you an idea. I didn't do all the layers. There's one. I love the brownie orangey colors. I've done this one. Bit of red, bit of green. And it picks up that reddish color there. And I added some pink poles. Use this one. Added some metal pieces. Here I have added this with foam tape. Added some diamantes. This one, I have also used a butterfly, which just pick up the green in the background and the green... Um, reinforcement ring there on that green tag. Now with this one, I glued that down, this is down, but this little tag can be used separately or it can be just left there and it will be a great little addition to whatever project. So without further ado, let's, let's get started on making some of these. Now you can literally use anything. I don't plan them beforehand as I never know what I would grab. I do want to bring the light back, but it will shine a bit on the plastic though. There we go. I want it upside down. There's another one. Let's see. There's these fish tails, all kinds of colors, all kinds of varieties. So you can really truly go crazy with these and have a fun time. As I said, I'm not affiliated. It's not a pay promotion. I am merely a very satisfied customer who loves working with their products. So let's get going. I would like to add some little goodies, some sort. There's one that's peeping out here that is really, really intriguing me. And of course you can use it whichever way you want. And like this one, I would have loved to just use it all by itself as it is. So I might change my mind as to what I'll be using. Just going to ink this. You can do it all on paper as it is layers, especially if you want to add it to journals. I don't mind a little bit of extra 
we look at this only the little poles are a bit of a bulb still very flat still flexible the cardstock is really not that thick so let's do this blue one i will just make a few with you on camera and then as time goes on i will then complete the rest of this and make whatever i think while i've got the ink going i'll ink all these bases you can of course do that with all your pieces beforehand if that's your thing i sometimes like to just stay in the here and now and do what i want to no plan beforehand keep that little bit of surprise elements going this you can just nearly deepen the color that's already there and one more this is more gray but i want the browner vintage look grunge you know i love grunge if you have been following my channel you would know that i love the grunge so much i turn anything possible into a vintage vibe so i'm taking a postage stamp from the kit and i'm going to add this little fish tail to it i'm not going to add too much just a bit of glue to the back always try to keep the nozzle clean not too much we don't want the glue to run out about there going to add this little postage stamp about there i don't want to cover any of the roses i want to keep the roses there i kind of like that i know i have in my little bits and bobs tray i have some blue postage stamps that i had done previously well i thought i had let me just quickly look here if you watched any of my previous videos you would recognize them there i've got numbers i thought i had a blue one hmm apparently i don't oh i can use that one too there we go you can add whatever you want to you don't have to just stick what is in the kit of course you can make it your own absolutely make it your own this one probably would have been great just using a glue stick and i want to add this one there just to incorporate more of that blue and yes this is a vintage stamp a genuine one there we go so one is done love it i'll just add it to the little pile of what we've done already this one i like the vintage feel of it. I think I want to add a bit of some foam tape. And then I need to get something. I have inked the edges with some brown. So let's see what we can have. If you have these long ones, you can shorten it if you want to. Let's see what we come up with. And then we need something that side. So let's see. There are some tiny little things, little labels that can be added. And like I said earlier, you don't have to just do this. It can be supplemented with whatever you have. I kind of like that, but I just want to just ink these edges and yes it the rind is blue and um, black i mean to say not blue black but i'm just making sure where i've cut it there are not any white little shark steve standing up just a bit of glue stick so that we can get this glue down not too much glue just about the top half of this little fish tail I think I put just a dead too much glue there or too far anyway out so I just want to wipe that off before it's dry just a little paper towel baby wipe doesn't matter whatever helps you to get that extra glue off and there is our first little bit taking off this backing and adding this rectangular there's a bit of space so I'm going to move this over and add that there. Now, this can easily be very dull. 
but we're going to just use something. Let's see, there are buttons to add. You can add anything from your stash as well. Little buttons, there are hearts and square buttons as well. I love that rose one particularly much. I Let's see, these little ones are too gorgeous. Let me see. Love often. Nothing stops you from putting it up there so that it stands out a bit more. Celebrates. You can add it on a different color paper. You can ink it with a different color. What about adding a number? That can also work. Why not? Mm. Let me ink that. Sorry, I'm in an apartment building. And <laughs> it's unpredictable when the people above me will start moving furniture. So please excuse the noise. And there's that one. I like that. Or that bit of dimension. You can always add a butterfly if you so wish. I kind of like that. Just never know where this will take you. And that's why I never plan it. Can be last minute that you see something and then you decide mm, that's what I want to do. I just want to press down on this one a little bit so that it can mold. Something like this would be perfect on the outside of a journal, mini journal, a card. You're going to add this to a journal on the inside. I will just flatten it out. But I want that little bit of dimension. It's always nice to have dimension. And there's number two done. I want to just grab a few of these and quickly just ink the edges. We always, well, I always ink the edges. And why do we do that? Because it hides the white core, rounds it off, pulls your eye in. Now, I will bring one closer before I ink the next one, just so that you can see it already has that. Let me just put my hand underneath, and then you can see it's already got that grayish edge around it. But I want it brown, a little bit more grungy. You can always use a grayer color to emphasize that, or emphasize that rather. Let's see. I just want to not lose those little ones, because if they fall on the floor, it will take a little bit of time picking it up. So let's get some color into this one. There are blues and browns and beiges and greens and reds. Absolutely adorable. I kind of like that checkered effect. Mm, the steampunk one. I call it steampunk because of that four finger pointing. It's amazing. Now you can do it upward. You can do it whichever way you want to the back like this in the front. Let's see what tag we can maybe add that one. There are too many. I love a rose. Anything with a rose. I really love a rose. Too many pieces. Absolutely too many pieces. It's a wonderful kit. Absolutely love it. Like truly love it. For this little tag, I want to add a brat. So let me grab my eyelet. Not the big one. I'm just going to punch a hole on this side. I might take a bit of the green away, which is sad, but what to do. And then I'm going to decide, do I want a black brad or a gold brad? Black, gold. I think I want the black just because it stands out so much. Again, that bit of grunge with this as well. You can see the white core of the paper and I don't particularly care for that so I prefer to just ink the edges to get that white core away. This I'm going to add a bit of glue this side. Make sure the ends are glued. And then I'm going to add the brad. But the problem is it might go past, which is what I expected there. So I'm going to fold this one in and I'm just going to press it down with my pair of scissors. That way it won't come undone and I can just turn it in uh, like a dial and it should be fine. So we're going to add that. I don't want to push it through and have it this side. I want to glue this just down 
on here. Now I want to get this to the right side. That was folded to the right side. There we go. So I'm going to add this to my tag with some glue. And in this case, a glue stick. And that one moved a bit, but let's get it down. I just want to press down on this brad so that it will be flatter. There we go. And I want to add something there. I love these butterflies so much. So much. They are awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's a whole sheet of butterflies. I think that red just picks up that bit of red. And I can just ink the edges to make sure there's no white showing. And you'll see I actually do cut the feelers of these butterflies as it's just too tricky to cut those tiny little things out. And I have that. But I'm closing all of Paris now. Let's move it down a little bit, like so. And if you have a bit of glue there, just take a baby wipe and wipe it off before that is dry. There's a bit of glue on the work surface. And there we have that one. Now you can add a tiny button. You really literally can add anything that you still want to. I think I want to add a red eyelid. And for that, sorry for that squeaky sound in your nose, um, in your ears, in your nose, listen to me for that squeaky sound. I've got my eyelids and some of the brads in this container because I don't have lots of those. I've got tiny ones and bigger ones and gold ones and all kinds. I've got another one here also that has got some other things in. Um, and this was a little bowl container that I got one day. They screw to the bottom of each other. And then only the top one has got this lid um, to cover the top one. So when you do take it down, I sometimes forget to close it properly again. Um, I can't spoil my things. So it helps. It helps me to get that sorted. All right. I'm going to just punch a hole there, about there, fit the eyelet in, and then I am going to set it. Now I like to turn mine over and just squeeze it. Sometimes it just doesn't do it properly for me. I don't know why. It did make a bit of a mess with setting this one. I'm going to use my scissors, but closed, just to force that part over so that it doesn't obstruct the hole. Well, this <laughs> brat did set a little bit funny, but it is what it is. I do embrace imperfection, so it doesn't bother. We've got that red, red, and red, so I kind of like that one as well. Number three. Let's do another one. Let's see. I kind of like this oval quite a bit. I want to see what other little labels are here, like advertisement type like thingies. Really, so many different pieces. And you don't have to just use this for the layered embellishment um, clusters. You can use this as individual parts. You can take any tag. I'll just grab a little. This one is not done, but if I now want to decorate this little frame. I can easily add this. Sorry, I'm not <laughs> getting distracted here, but let's put that there, make a little collage at the bottom here, and you can see how easily this can be adjusted and changed into something else, decorated however you wish. Anything, literally anything. Um, take flight. Just putting pieces together. They honestly all fit because they're not glued down, they do move now. But there we have that. And you can add anything, literally anything. Already got red, so let's put that. And you can put this, whatever you want, a photo underneath. Have it decorated however you wish. A little collage, just by putting things together quickly. And there we have that tiny little collage, which is not glued down. So yeah, you can do with this as you please. And so many different things can be done with it. Doesn't have to be made into clusters. You can use this as wonderful collage pieces as well. And those of us that are into masterboards, these little things would look amazing on a masterboard. I would just not print it on cardstock, but just on plain paper. So let's continue. I kind of like this one. And typewriter exchange, that would be perfect. There are so many different pieces. 
honestly love these roses love these roses where to take and what to put in all kinds i do tend to get overwhelmed with many pieces in front of me that's why i break this up into parts and i normally do it over a few or a couple of days let's ink that one while we're there i punch that out with a uh, circle punch you can do that or you can cut it out with a um, pair of scissors by hand in other words all those pieces are inked like i said earlier you can do the inking first and then start with it like an assembly line i need something on top of this one let's look at this um, coffee coffee mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. you can also cut these little strips in half if you so wish let's take this one i'll show you with that I just sorted the pieces so that it's easy to look for something. Get that white cord out. And in that corner, there we go. And because the edge is a bit darker, I just want to go over this one as well. Just make that a bit darker. Now you can do this any way you want. And we want something there, so... Let me start gluing this down. I think the glue in the nozzle got dry a bit. There we go. I don't want to close too much of the print on here, as I kind of like that. So we have that. Nice, very nice. I need something for this side. Let me see. What postage stamp? Oh, I love that he looks cute, too cute. Absolutely too cute for words. Southern Rhodesia. A bit of blue. Oh, somebody is going crazy in the street. Spinning wheels in a street where many children are playing. I would say that's a bit unwise, but who am I to judge? I'm using an old thinning scissors that's rusted, got damaged by water damage, and I'm now using this in the craft room. Just cutting the edges to make it more authentic looking. A little bit of inking there. There's a bit of that. Let's just pull that off. A bit on this side too. And there we have that. So, I'm going to add that there. And maybe this one here. Awesome. I like it. You see, you can put anything together literally anything and of course the button I've punched out the little four holes and run a little thread through it and there we have number four done I'll do one more and I hope that will be enough inspiration for you so I've got this one I need to do something with the roses I love these roses so much Going to put that one there immediately going to add this before i'm thinking too much about it let's see what we have there just looking for something this side not necessarily roses
Not sure yet, not sure yet. What else is there? I'm going to put this back for the time being. And then... All these little tags can be used individually. They do not just have to be used making these layered embellishment clusters. I think this one might be awesome. I think so. Just ink it. So the ink just deepens that color on the edge. And I'm going to just put glue with them. I want to cover this stamp at the bottom, but I'm going to look for one here that I can add. Hmm. They are the ones that I was looking for earlier. In the same container, I just didn't look in the right place. So because this is red, I want to add the red one. just want to trim this a bit. Let's see if it will cut the thinner paper or really chew it, which will give a lot of dimension. I mean, these scissors are really not made for paper, but let's see how it goes. And the paper that I stamped this on are truly vintage paper, so it is really thin and fragile. There we go. We'll add that part there, just a little stamp. I'll put that back. And then take flights, glue that on there so that we can stand out of it. where it belongs and as can these little steps so let's see these can go back as I said I will just make one more for today and then we can hopefully inspire you enough to go ahead look for the kit and make your own you can make it as layered as you want or as pairs as you want it truly is up to you how you want to make your own clusters now let's quickly look at them there's the last one i made for today then i made the one with the rhodesian or southern rhodesia um stamp on it which is brown and blue i've got the one with the reds where i messed up the eyelid which is not an issue we have to embrace imperfection the green one with a beautiful butterfly and then this blue one i really truly love them they are adorable love the set so much there you can see them all at the same time. Maybe I can bring this a bit closer for you. And oopsie, sorry. There we go. Thanks for joining me today. Please go look for their kits if you so wish. They are on Etsy as DGN SVG Designs for You. Absolutely amazing products. And then if you want to see more content like this, please give me a thumbs up. That way I can bring my videos to more people. And as always, I will appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel too. If you haven't done so, please hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I am uploading new content. See you back soon. Goodbye.